Yes, I'm really sore. It's hard work sitting in a tractor. You wouldn't think so. I cannot remember one year from another. <laughs> hey, Marge. Did you do this? I think it was a good decision to uh, run the roller and the, and the stone picker through this again because after I cultivated it again last night in the dark, I knew, I could see in the headlights, I could see these nuggets popping up every time uh, the cultivator went through. And I said to Mark this morning, I have a funny feeling I need to pick stones again today. That's the problem with working at night. You can't really see well, and especially with this dust, I can't believe there's this much dust. Um, in the headlights, you're just blind. So if I didn't have GPS running this tractor, I told Mark last night, at every turn, I would have to stop and wait for the dust to go by if I didn't have auto steer that I could just press a button and it would know exactly where to go. I know we laugh and we say, oh, this is kind of a lazy man's way to steer. Honestly, it's efficiency and we can work at night because of this thing. Otherwise, we would have to shut down because, uh, yeah, you just, you can't see. I wish I could show you what good I'm doing but all you can see is dust. I did get that field, field done. It took me a long time. There's a lot of stones so there's a lot of jumping on and off the tractor. But now we are hooking on the uh, Joker speed disc thing again and heading to another field. It's like musical fields. If you guys remember last uh, summer we grew canola in this field and then we double cropped soybeans so this is soybeans double here. It is pretty hard where the combine tracks were because when we took off the soybeans it was winter and very wet so um, we have it a bit deeper than we usually do but it's doing a pretty good job and then I gotta come right back with the roller and knock down these clumps before they dry out. Okay I gotta turn. I must have done something right because Mark said I could have the rest of the night off and he said I could roll in the morning, which is nice. I'm really sore. It's hard work sitting in a tractor. You wouldn't think so. Morning. It is uh, Wednesday and uh, we're back at it bright and early. I'm trying to stay ahead of Mark. He's quickly creeping up behind me and uh, I need to keep at least a field ahead of him. Dirty girl. Oh, what did they do to you? What did I do to you?
Well, you gotta love a good B-roll for uh, hiding all the sin that you guys get to miss. In that time, I got around the field once and then went to catch uh, an AB line, like a line, a guidance line, so I don't have to steer and it wouldn't engage. And I'm like, what's going on? I have GPS, I'm in the right field. Did all these things, called Mark, hate calling Mark, cause he's busy too. And he's like, you're gonna have to fold back up and come home and I'll have to look at what's going on. And uh, it ended up, I was just in a wrong setting. <laughs> so uh, I'm back and we're gonna get this field rolled. He's almost done planning that field, so he's already right behind me. So he actually might jump on the joker and start the other field that I was supposed to. And then when I'm done here, I will spell him off. He will come here with the planter and start planting this field. So yeah, we are getting bottlenecked really quick because Sandy doesn't know how to run technology, apparently. We are done this field finally after how many attempts? I'm gonna run home, grab a quick bite, even though it's not even 11.30, and then go spell off Mark so he can plant. I think this might be our fifth field of corn that we'll have planted. Granted, two are really small. Well, it's been a few hours since we last talked and it took me that long to get Mark off the tractor. We have completely changed our tillage. He has not been happy with the way the ground has been working up and it's been going really dry really quick. So the problem is last fall we got so much rain. Uh, some of the ground was worked, some of it was left. It went really hard. So as we're working up this ground, it's gotten really warm, really dry, and when we're working it up, the ground is is just, number one, this is barely getting in deep enough to really break up the soil. So what we're doing now is we're actually putting the joker, instead of going deep, we're actually going slower, which is, we're, just, we're still learning this piece of equipment. Everything you read about them is like, you gotta go fast, you gotta go fast, and Mark's like, he actually found that going slower with this uh, is getting into the ground and doing what he wants it to do and then he's go we're going right back after and hitting it again and it's making a beautiful seed bed it's more ideal for what mark is looking for and it's taken us almost all week to figure out what to do every year is different so you can set something and you think it'll work and the next year it won't work the same way uh, even field to field it's like that That field is finished. I rode around with Mark for a couple rounds on the planter. Uh, Jess just got back from work and she called me and she goes, is there anything wrong with our lawnmowers? I'm like, no. And she goes, oh, well our grass is getting really long. I'm like, dude, <laughs> we haven't had time. So she's actually cutting grass now. And it is so bad. My in-laws have meticulous lawns and we are a disgrace to this family on this road, but we, uh, the kids are both working long hours and we're working long hours and there's just no one left to cut our grass. We have the kind of lawn now that you could cut the grass and then cut the clippings because the clippings are almost longer than the grass was. And look, our trees have leaves. This all happened in like four days. It's amazing. I'm listening to a new podcast. I am embracing my inner Jess. I have listened to the radio and the radio is really boring and they repeat all the songs. Put it on Instagram, what podcast should I listen to? And people had said, Morbid. I'm listening to it right now, it's really good so far. That tile we fixed yesterday is already dry. You would never know there was any water there. I wonder if you guys can see it from here. Right there. Look at dry. It is uh, late and Mark is just pulling into this field and he's gonna relieve me. So he just finished planting the field we were working on today. So he's gonna work this field. He has been, I don't know how he works this late. I'm so tired, so I give him credit. This mama needs to go to bed. I'll see you guys in the morning.
morning, I'm late. And the thing about being late for Mark is uh, as punishment, he will never fire me. I'm only late because I had to do a final edit on a video that I should have had up yesterday, but um, <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> Well, you know it's gonna be a good day when a good-looking stranger pulls over on the side of the road and hands me a Mick Cafe. Thank you, Monty. Cut up to Mark, so I just have to wait for him to get this headland done, and then I will uh, roll behind him, and then this part of the field will be done. We have another little corner piece over here that we have to go on the road and around and into it. And the approach, like the laneway into the into that field is horrible. So there's a couple fields like this we have on our farm and we'd like to put in a culvert because it's a, it's a creek. So we can actually drive over like a little bridge over this little grass strip. So I'm hoping this year we can do it here and actually one uh, back at home the list is long of the things we need to do. Well, we're back in the barn for a little bit. Put the boys in a different pen and they've been destructing, likely scratching against these boards. So I'm just gonna take a, s I had to run to town and clean out our local hardware store of these uh, C-clamp things and uh, I hope they get them replenished because they seem to be infamous for doing this. I have to say the barn, although warm, the litter is perfect, it's dry, the fans are like at full go and it's like, it feels glorious. You guys are lucky sheep. All right, let's uh, see what we can do about this. Well, hello, stranger. Did you do this? Morning, it is Friday. We are just heading out to our second or third last field, I think. Third last field. We have to decide what we're doing on this home farm where we uh, have that tile that needs redone. Mark's gonna head out with a cultivator. I'm gonna head out with a roller and I'm gonna stay there all day. I'm gonna cultivate twice and then I'm gonna I'm gonna roll and pick stones at the same time just to uh, just for the sake of time because he's gonna be right behind me. He's gonna plant a field this morning and it's only like 68 acres, so he'll be right up behind me and uh, probably plant two fields today. Carissa, she's the best. 
All right, we are at the field farthest from home. It's actually Mark's mum's fields. It was her. It was her parents' field. Um, so this is a kind of a third generation field farm, and uh, we've got it divided into uh, two. I think right now it's usually three fields. So the field behind me here, this field here, and this field going this way at the back. We usually have it in three. Last year we had corn in the front two, or in the, yeah, in the front two, and in the back we had, um, must have had wheat. Did we have wheat? I think it was wheat. Oh my God, I cannot remember. I cannot remember one year from another. We've been at this for quite a few hours and we had a bit of a change of plans because our soil has dried out so fast. So I did go across once diagonal and then Mark came back. We actually hooked up the roller behind the cultivator. I had the loader so I quickly just took off the rocks except for a few that are um, at my feet and on the front step. I've picked them up because I missed them with the loader. But uh, this last pass, I'm doing all at once. So I'm cultivating and rolling. It's so dry you can't even see at the same time. And that is to get everything shut up, sealed up, to retain as much moisture as we can until Mark can come back with the planter. Okay, I gotta turn around. I guess that's the thing about getting ground ready. Uh, and every year is different, but honestly, every single day, our plans keep changing depending on um, soil conditions, uh, environment conditions just like what it's like outside very low humidity and lots of breeze and lots of Sun I think the best way to describe the soil is like it's really crusty we hate to say this because we have struggled all spring for stuff to dry up but we almost could use a nice warm gentle rain and uh, after seeing some footage of the states this morning uh, specifically Zach Johnson of Millennial Farmer. It looks as though they have been underwater for ages and this is after a year of drought and I believe last night they had to head for the basement because I'm pretty sure they had a tornado and the damage does not look good. Damage never looks good. That was a poor choice of words. It, it doesn't look good and uh, Mark and I both were just like we took a really deep breath this morning we're like oh, we're feeling pretty blessed where we are and if we're a little bit dry and dusty then so be it but our thoughts and prayers go out to them down in the states and Western Canada Manitoba's underwater too so lots of friends are not loving the weather so we shall not complain I think we're sitting at we're sitting at 622 according to my phone I am entering our second last cornfield a very small field it's 19 acres um, so there'll be more turning than anything in this field. Uh, this is one of the fields we rent from a neighbor. So here we go, guys. I'm going to crisscross this field. I'm gonna go corner to corner, corner to corner. I'm gonna go straight up and down, and then I'm going to hook up the, I'm gonna grab the r roller and the loader and pick stones and roll at the same time. Because it's only 19 acres, so it should only take me a couple, few hours maybe. And then it will be dark. Pressure mansion in modern days. Think that this might be Frida's ghost crying like on a loop over Edward's death. It's so sad. It is, it's horrible. Now, so that's that whole thing about Frida. Good morning. This is our last field that we're going to plant corn in today. And um, it was our hay field from last year. Mark's been digging tile all spring in this field, so he's got a few holes that need buried. So I'm just taking the telehandler this morning while he's planting the field I finished up late last night. And uh, I'm just gonna fill in those holes. We're actually gonna go grab our, our strip till that we went, we actually co-bought that strip till unit last year with our friend Jeff and Talisa, his wife. So he's gonna try and run the strip till through this old hay ground. Um, again, just to preserve as much moisture as we can and just do strips to plant those uh, seeds into instead of working the entire field.
so Mark strip tilled the, the field behind me. He's he did it twice to break up the uh, the compaction in where the seed is getting placed. So he's happy with the strips itself, but he said the field itself is so rough. So he decided that uh, he was going to take the joker on the headlands just to make it so when we're turning the planter it's not so rough over those strips and he's like you know what i'm gonna do the whole field it's gonna make the the rest of the field a little smoother for everything else uh and again we're just dealing with such hard ground so we've been at this field for far too long already um but i'm finally on the roller and i'm just gonna let him get ahead a little bit and then i'm gonna follow him in the field here and then we will finish planting. So Sandy was courageous enough to give me the camera. So we're in our last field of planting corn here. You might see some stuff that's different from previous years. One, the tractor, the, secondly, the planter. Uh, I sold our old corn planter that I built. Uh, that's actually when I started my YouTube channel was I was building a, a planter off this Alari car frame and I had not seen it done anywhere, couldn't find it on YouTube. So I ended up like, I'll just do my build and put it on YouTube. and. I did that and I had that planter for four years and I sold it to a gentleman and then uh, we are going to a different style planter. It's a European uh, make, Porsche, and uh, we've been running a 16 row 30 inch planter this spring uh, thanks to uh, Porsche Ontario. Uh, our 12 row didn't show up in time. Uh, we were hoping to use a 12 row, uh, didn't didn't show up because of I think everyone knows the world is a crazy place and uh, they gave us a 16 to use this spring so it was very nice to have 16 rows because we got done a lot quicker because uh, it's just Sandy and I doing all the field work this year because uh, Jess is off to school and has a real person job now for the summer uh, so it's just Sandy and I so the 16 row was really nice uh, the reason we like this planter or I like this planter is that it's got central fill seed and central fill fertilizer so we can use bulk seed uh, which really makes uh, our planter fill time a lot quicker and it has some really unique uh, technology on it too that uh, helps distribute the weight across the ground and reduce compaction so a lot, it ticked a lot of boxes and that's why we like it uh, as for the tractor it's a Fent uh, we historically have had John Deere's we still have John Deere the John Deere tractor um, we just, I kind of like the Fen. It took a bit to get the hang of running, but uh, for me, it's fuel. I think everyone knows that fuel is uh, pretty expensive right now. Diesel, uh, red diesel or dyed diesel here on the farm is $2 a liter. Uh, so we are looking at ways to try to save fuel and these tractors do a really good job at that. Uh, I know I'll probably take some criticism or Sandy might in their comments about John Deere case being as good, but from what I've seen, I'm very happy with the tractor. Uh, it does a good job that way. So uh, that's kind of just what I've been running this spring because I said it's a little bit different than the last couple of years. I just got uh, asked to bring our last three bags of seed. So hopefully that will get us finished this field. <laughs> Done, we're done.